Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to start unboxing the uh, second box of the Classic Collection that we got. Uh, we're being helped out by Lady Devamon and Lilith Monmat. Uh, I brought her out because she doesn't... I don't use her very often. Uh, also, she's one of the cards, so that makes it relevant. Yeah! Uh, we're with the shot. Uh, so let's... Get this one open. I'm gonna get this wrapping cut off camera. And then I'll bring it back. Uh, and while I'm doing this, uh, about the Digivolving Agu Black Agumon that I have, uh, something I didn't bring up, because it just I didn't have a good point, I thought, was that transforming him from War Greymon back. I popped his side panels off at least three times. And so that goes back into why I didn't care so much for uh, Digivolving that one. Uh, it, it, they're, they're all right transforms. I got the cell phone off though, so enough of that babbling. Let's see if we get another uh, War Greymon or if there are different box toppers. I'm thinking that they're all War Greymon. I would say that means, yes, they are all War Greymon. Uh, so if you buy a box, you're going to get this one. That's disappointing to me, uh, because he is just from a different set. That That's all it is. It's, it's not a new card. It is just a different artwork. So now I have five of him. Eh. Whatever. So we're going to deal this the same way as last time. We're starting on the left. We're going to pick four packs out. I'm going to do four packs of video. We're going to go over the full foils. So the... Uh, what are they? The rares and the super rares, I think, there? And the secret rare. But other than that, we'll be glancing over. Oh, something else I forgot to mention is I have been uh, organizing the cards as I've been going into stacks because I'm not done. I have to go through this entire box too. But I'm noticing in the stacks that blue and black seem to be taller than the others. And that's for our first box and for all the previous packs that we opened, I've got them in two separate stacks. Uh, but it looks like if you're looking for blue or black cards, and the cards in this appeal to you, then this might be a good box to pick up. Alright, so starting out, we got Wizardmon. Anjumon. Another Karamon. I'm building a Karamon deck, by the way. Uh, Elekmon. Ikakumon. Togemon, Megadramon, Greymon, Myotismon, Boltmon, Leomon, and Magna Anjamon. Very cool. So Leomon is a 5 play cost, 2 Digivolution cost, 5,000 DP. Uh, he has a security effect. Where at the end of the battle, if you have three or fewer security uh, cards, re uh, recover plus one from your deck. Uh, and no one inherited ability. Uh, so that's that's pretty neat. And then Magna Anjumon uh, is an eight play cost, a three digivolution cost, 7,000 DP. When attacking, if you have three or more security cards... This Digimon gets plus 4,000 DP until the end of your opponent's next turn. Uh, and his inherited effect is your turn once per turn. When a card is added to your security stack, gain one memory. He's pretty solid. Uh, especially being able to become uh, an 11,000 if you have three or more security. That's pretty solid. Uh, Leomon, again, meh. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna build a Caramon deck because we're at the point where we've had 
technically four Caramons that have come out. Uh, one of them is a promo, though. So you can build almost an entire rookie lineup of just Caramons. And I think there's another Caramon coming out in the next set. If so, you will be able to make a full one. Uh, so we got Stingmon, Biomon, Salamon, Zudamon, Palamon, Metal Mamamimon, Gomamon, there's Lady Devamon, yeah. Metal Edamon, Patamon, a Metal Greymon, and an Analog Youth. All right, let's take a look at these. Metal Greymon is a seven play cost, a three digivolution cost from either red or black. 7,000 DP. When attacking, uh, this Digimon attacks a player. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. I really have to look into whether that means it has to be a direct attack, uh, like to the security stack, or if it's just he declares an attack. Because that is a very weird wording for me. Uh, it might have to do with the stage of it, where it's like... Uh, it could mean, like, when this Digimon declares an attack. Uh, which is more, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! terminology. But when it's actually, like, you've decided, like, alright, I'm tapping him to attack. And at that point, you'd be able to, uh, delete an opponent's Digimon of 4,000 DP or less. Because uh, otherwise, like, the only time you're going to attack the player is in that end game. Where you would win. And that makes no sense. Unless it's meaning you're attacking their security stack. Which still. That would that only works if they have unsuspended Digimon. And an unsuspended rookie. Eh. But if it's all attacks that makes sense. I have to look into that a little more. I'll try to remember to do that. Uh, and his inherited effect. Is your turn. While this Digimon has machine or dragon kin. In its traits, it gains piercing. Uh, so great ability there. Uh, definitely good, f like, for the uh, Machine Dramon. But also, I would... I'm hardcore thinking about putting him in the Agumon deck I built. Uh, maybe only has, like, two. Because I'm sure there's some other ones that I like in there better. Uh, although I think that I was lacking in the Ultimate. So this guy may make it in. And Analog Youth is a two-play cost. Uh, on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one Digimon card among them to your hand, trash the remaining cards. All turns, when one of your level five or higher Digimon with Digivolution cards is deleted, you may suspend this tamer. If you do, gain one memory, and then hatch one Digi-Egg card to an empty space in your breeding area. Security effect... Play this card without paying its memory cost. It's a good speed up card. Uh, like it does work with uh, white. So like it would work in my Dioboromon deck that I'm building. Don't think I'm going to put it in there. Because it doesn't support the playstyle. As much as uh, the Atra card does. Who is uh, his partner in Cyber Sleuth. So, it just makes sense that he would be a lot more Dioboromon heavy. Third pack. Starting out with an XVmon. Kurosaimon. Demidivamon. Haguramon. Tapermon. Garudamon. Oh, we skipped one. Metal Tyrannomon. Myotismon. Boltmon again. Garurumon. We got a Mega Kabuterimon and an Ogremon.
So Mega Kabu Cherrymon is a 7 play cost, a 3 Digivolution cost, 7,000 DP. When attacking, this Digimon can Digivolve into a Digimon card with Insectoid or Ancient Insect in its traits uh, in your hand for its Digivolution cost. And his inherited effect is your turn. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, gain one memory. Uh, he's solid for the Tentabon line. Like, again, they're all about going up super quick, and uh, I believe Tentomon uh, reduces the Digivolution cost by one uh, if they include Insect uh, or Ancient Insect or Insectoid uh, in, their, in their traits. So they would definitely work together. Uh, so that's good. An Ogremon is a 6 play cost, a 2 Digivolution cost, 5,000 DP. When attacking, you may trash one card in your hand to have the Digimon gain security attack plus one. And his inherited effect is, when attacking, you may trash one card in your hand to have the Digimon gain plus 2,000 DP for the turn. Again, he's kind of iffy to me whether I would put him in or not. If I had a way to attack with him uh, and get the security attack plus one and then unsuspend him uh, and digivolve him so I could attack again and get the plus 2,000. Uh, because it's my understanding that with the way the wording works is that this Digimon, it means uh, as long as this guy, like, is still on the field. So even though he digivolves into, like, Myotismon, I think he can. Yeah, Myotismon. Uh, as long as he's still in the stack, he would still get the security attack plus one, and then you'd be able to activate the second effect. Alternatively, if he goes uh, to Myotismon and suspend, uses uh, his inherited ability unsuspend and use it again, you'd get a plus 4,000. And that'd be also a uh, good effect. Last one out of these four. And we're starting off with a Gomamon. Stingmon. Weregururumon. A Karamon, Ikakumon, Togemon, Elekmon, Piedmon, Plesiomon, Phoenixmon, win rate 60%, and another Ogremon. Well, I literally just talked about Ogremon. So we're going to skip him. Win rate, 60%. It is a two-play cost. Uh, if you have a Tamer in play, you may play this option card without meeting its color requirements. Uh, main effect, the next time one of your Digimon digivolves uh, this turn, you may trash one Digimon card in your hand uh, of the same color as the Digivolving Digivol... Huh. Sorry as the Digivolving Digimon to reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by 4. Security effect, add this card to its owner's hand. So again, I'm going to skip over this card. This, is, this isn't a great card because what you're doing is uh, you are paying 2 memory to reduce a Digivolution cost by 4 memory, so that's a difference of 2 memory but then you're also discarding a card. Maybe if you could figure out a way to combo it with another card, like if the other, what was it? I believe it's one of the Skull Greymons from Double Diamond, I want to say, uh, which says if you discard this card with one of your own card effects, you can put it underneath uh, one of your Digimon in their Digimon. Digivolution stacks. If you combo it, great. This would totally be worth it. But as it stands, just using it alone, not a great card. I would not suggest it. So with that, the first four packs are down. 
We still got 20 packs left. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a nice thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribe. It really does help. Uh, and until then, I will see you next time.